What's up everyone and welcome to another Fortnite video. Just as I'm about to start my new gameplay analysis series, Epic went and released another limited time mode, this time focused on solo players. It's called Solo Showdown and it also doubles as a competition. Basically, after you play 50 matches, your points in those matches are then added together and if you get in the top 100, you'll earn some V-Bucks. I'll put some display up on the screen. But basically, if you get first place, it's 50,000 V-Bucks. If you get between second and fourth, you get 25,000 V-Bucks. Between fifth and fiftieth, you get 13,500 V-Bucks. And players who get between 51st and 100 will get 7,500 V-Bucks. Now, it'll be really difficult to uh, place in the top 100. Cause it's all about how well you do in your placement matches. Like I said, it's only the first 50 that count. And it ends on Monday. So you haven't got much time really. And the points awarded for each match. Once you play a solo showdown. If you get first in a match it's 100 points. Second is 94. Third is 91. Fourth is 88. Fifth is 85. Sixth is 80. Seventh you get 75 points. For eighth you get 70. For ninth you get 65. If you get placed 10th you get 60 points. If you place between 11th and 15th you get 55. 16th and 20, you get 50. 21 and 30, you get 45 points. 31 and 40, you get 40 points. 41 and 50, you get 35. 51 and 75, you get 30. 76 and 100, you get 25. It's a lot to take in, so I'll put it all up on the screen for you to digest. Basically, it means it doesn't matter too much if you get first or second or third. The point difference is not that big. But it's all about really being consistent and landing yourself in the top 10. But really... The top 100, I assume, the majority of them will be at least 20 to 30% win rates. So it'd be, still be quite difficult unless you've got a really high win percentage. But the competition's here, so I thought I'd use an excuse to do another solo commentary. Now the gameplay analysis series is beginning soon. I've already got one done, so it'll be coming after this. And like I said, if you've got any gameplay you want me to showcase on the channel that I'll commentate on, just let me know in the comments or just message me on YouTube. So let's get into it. So we'll take Fatal Field. I'll actually show you a little landing trick in Fatal Field that not a lot of players use. Always comes in handy. Just looking around, there doesn't seem to be anyone coming here. So you, uh, as you come down the umbrella, you aim for the tyre, swing to the right, land you right on top next to the chest. You'll usually beat anyone that lands on the roof. So we've got a minigun, impulse grenades, not the best weapons right at the beginning. There's a few uh, weapon and ammo spots up here, so I prefer the revolver right now. I don't like the, uh, the long start up on the minigun. It leaves you too vulnerable. So just check the other weapon spawns hidden inside the uh, the hay. So get all the ammo. I don't hear any gunfire around, so I assume no one else has landed here. So the light machine gun is brilliant right at the beginning of the game. If they've got 100 health, you can uh, mow them down pretty easy. The accuracy is not great, but it more than makes up for it in the uh, rate of fire and the damage. So I'll put the around. Get my uh, material resources up. Or in a circle, so we don't have to worry about that. There's another chest up here. I always break the uh, one-hit items before I do the, uh, the ramp. Otherwise, it gets destroyed. So we'll take the uh, SMG over the minigun. It's easy to maneuver with. I, I assume the minigun will end up being vaulted at some point because it doesn't get a whole lot of use. I don't really see a lot of players using it. So they've got a blue pistol over here. Don't really need it. Take the ammo though. Get the uh, wood supply up. So I don't hear any gunfire, so I assume no one really landed here, which is a uh, which is quite weird because it's quite a big spot, really, uh, close to the bus. So just look as we go. Nothing here. Oh, someone there. So I see them going through the field. I'm not sure where they've gone, if they're behind the hay bale. 
So I'll build just in case. I always build just in case because I assume that they've seen you as well. And in that case, just build. So it's a ramp then a wall, and I protect myself by surrounding myself with walls just in case someone's behind. If someone could be outside the circle running in, I don't want to get shot from behind. Okay, I can hear them now in the first barn right here. I throw a grenade, pop it in. Unfortunately, the grenade didn't go where I wanted to. I'm trying to get it inside, but it needs to have uh, bounced itself on top. There is holes in the roof there, so it should have gone in, but you can't predict things like. He's jumped out now, he's got to the other barn. With things like the grenade and the grenade launcher, it's, it's just so random. Like you can bounce off the geometry of objects or scenery and you can't really predict where they're gonna go. You just put the you can put them in the general area and then where it goes is up to the game. So it's creeping out. So I'll rush him at this point. Thank you, fence. So, he's trying to build, but the light machine just tears through walls, no problem. Yeah. That's pretty much all you can do with that gun. Spam. <laughs> it's not really a precision weapon. But, he had shield, but... If you're trying to build against this weapon and someone's just spamming at you like that, like... You're not going to have much hope because the ammo magazine is 100 bullets, so they're going to get you before they run out of ammo for the reload. So you best just shoot him back. So if I was in that situation, I'd build a wall, build a ramp, go up and shotgun me quickly. Enemy had shield, so he did have the health advantage. He, he never tried to shoot back at any point, so he would have known then, oh, he's, I'm on white health, so I'm an easy kill, really. But a lot of players, they get fixated on building, protect themselves, and don't ever shoot back. Just as a test shot to see what the enemy's health is like. So, this has already been looted. I, I'm not sure if someone landed here. I didn't hear them. I guess it's that guy I just killed. Yeah, I don't really see any buildings going up. So it must have landed on the roof. He'd already done this chest as well, so... Maybe there's more players here. Because otherwise it'd be a weird um, travel path. So I'll just check the chest over here, because sometimes there's a chest spawn on this little mound. I need shields really, if uh, still on 100 health. So, any good player will uh, dispatch me real problem right now. A lot of times if you get a headshot on a 100 health player, you can kill them before they even got time to put up a wall to react. So there's a chest spawn over here, just behind the rocks. And it's here, thankfully. Still no minis or shields. I have done a game before where I've never found a shield the whole game. <laughs> Hopefully this is not one of them. So I'll check up there. So this has not been done. So there's two, there's three chest spawns actually. There's one in the truck as well. Potentially. Yeah, it's in there. I do it before I pop the rocks because it's quite difficult to get inside once you're at, you've got the superpower rocks. So I'll check the roof. Yeah, there's a pump up there and a hunting rifle. So I'll swap the uh, pump out. Yep, finally a shield. Before I uh, actually pop it though, um, there might be a, yeah minis in this chest. Yeah, good job I did. So always put yourself in a little one by one like this. You can either do a one by one or some players just build a roof, which is the fourth object on the building list. Put themselves inside the roof. That way you don't have to uh, use 50 materials. So I peek outside, start looking, no one's watching me. 
Like I said, always peek. Do the edit peek. You don't know who's watching. In this solo showdown mode, I assume the standard of play is much higher than the ra regular mode. I'm thinking this is more of like a ranked mode. So I've checked chest over here, it's already been done. So once again there might be a player around here somewhere. Unless he landed on top of the hill and came down. So I'll try and get up the hill. I can serve materials by doing the jumps with the uh, the rocks. So it looks like it's all been done up here. Yeah. Like I said, I've got the one hit items. You never know, at one point, 10 wood might save your life. It's happened to me before. You have to treat materials like a secondary shield. You have to get through the materials before they start hitting your health. So as long as you've got a wand in front of you, then no one can shoot you. I, like I said, I always use, like I've done in my previous commentaries, I always use bricks and metal. I'll try and get through that material first because it's not as important as uh, wood. Once again, I'll elaborate that wood's got a quicker build rate. It's got lower overall health, but quicker build rate. So it gets to the uh, the 100 health a lot quicker. So someone's left a mini over here. I'm not sure why people leave minis. I always stack them. I assume someone lined on this hill, drank two, and left the mini. But there's no reason to leave your mini. Because that 25 health will come in handy, and you'll likely find more minis in future. So you find over three, then you've got four, you know, with the one you left behind. So that's 50 shield you could uh, get up to every time. Like I said, in this game, preserving your health is more important than a lot of the weapons. Pretty much everyone in the end game is going to have great weapons. Not a lot of them are going to have healables. So I found a shield, but I think I actually swap the minis out for the light machine gun. I've already got an M16 blue, and getting back up to 50 shield again is more important than a light machine gun. That's more of a luxury right now. I've got grenade launcher, I've got pump. I've got a blue M16. So I'm all set really for weapons and distances. I'm missing long range a bit, but I'll make do with the M16 and the uh, one shot accuracy. So here's someone in Salty as he approaches circle. They're firing a light machine gun. Like a lot of players just charge in, start building, you don't want to do that. You want to observe, get a uh, a good sense of where all the players are before you do something like that. Otherwise you end up getting shot from behind or the side, so you don't expect it. So I see someone building brick straight in front. I'm not sure if someone's done the metal. I assume the guy from the metal jumped down and went to the brick. He's looking towards northeast. Oh, so there's two here. Okay, so now I engage when it's low health. So he's not got much health left, so he just needs one hit really. And I missed. Oh. Sometimes it does this. Sometimes you go through walls and sometimes uh, you get trapped behind them. So I built my own wall there, about my own floor, sorry, I just hit through and tried to shoot him. Missed the shot, but he destroyed it and that's time the pumpy reload for an easy kill. The floors and the ceiling, they can be a bit finicky. Sometimes you'll go right through them, sometimes you'll get trapped above or below. It's unpredictable. The, the game's a little, uh, not quite 
perfect in that regard. So he's got an extra shield here. Like I said, that extra mini came in handy. Put me back up to 100. And I've got a spare shield. I'll take the blue shotgun. I think the other guy had some stuff as well. So plenty of time to check. Circle's not coming in for a while. It's going to be a slow one. As we get to the final circle now. They always move a bit slower. So he's Luke's right here. Oh, he had a chug jug. Uh, an epic grenade launcher as well. A legendary, sorry. Legendary grenade launcher. So that'll do. I've got a plenty of materials now as well. Not much brick and metal, but a, uh, a lot of wood. So there's another little one by one over here. I assume no one's in it. Because they would have attacked me by now. Either that or they're really scared of playing passive. But I assume not because the circle is coming in soon. I hear a chest in this house over here. I'll check it just in case of more ammo for my grenade launcher. So no ammo, unfortunately. Or no extra shields. So I'll start a quick check, make sure no one's in that uh, wooden base. Circle's taking it now, so up ahead now. There's only seven people left. It's two giant bases on the hills. I think they're fighting one another. I see someone building to the right on the floor. It looks like he's going to go push the hill to the right. So I'll uh, look to the left. This guy's got a sniper on the left. So I'll see what this guy's doing over here. There's only six people left now, so there's not too many. So I don't want to push straight up because he might be looking straight down right now. And it's an easy way to be on the outside of a circle, end up getting shot at, you try to build and the storm takes you, it's just not worth it. I'll try around the side where it's lowest, up to the left over here. I build up this way. But I always check, I keep looking back and forth, make sure he's not looking down. Oh, he's coming down. It's on the floor. This should be one shot. Missed. Missed. Potato in. Missed again. Oh no. Ugh. My um My maneuverability saved me there. It helps to be quite nimble on your feet, being able to like jump on top of walls and stuff like that, just to make yourself harder to hit rather than someone just walks around the floor. Because the players don't expect you to be on top of an object and then back down and so it helps if you can maneuver around objects like that. I potatoed a bit there, I should have uh, got him in the first pump. So he's got a snap rifle and then we jump pad. If you're gonna potato like that like Hopefully you don't, hopefully you don't do what I did, but the other option then is just to build, turtle up, and go for the edit game. He'd already built walls, so it was a bit of an annoyance, because he could edit through his walls that were already there. I'll just check over here in this base, make sure if these guys have gone or if they're still camping here. The circle's not on me again, but I've got a jump pad, so I can... Uh, just fly over whenever I need to. I'll just keep an eye out for now. Make sure no one else is pushing up hills or peek around there, see anyone's on the floor. All looks quiet on the western front. Or the eastern front I should say. So the circles coming in now. I can see them building now actually in the circle, so I'll build up. I'll protect the VI ramp just in case someone tries to shoot down. I'll make sure no one's pushing down the hill. There's only four people left, so I assume the two building are there. There's two of us, I don't know where they are. Alright, they're having a rocket launcher fight. I try not to get in either side because I'll be uh, I'll be getting pancaked in the middle. So I'll go around the back. Okay, he's dropping down. 
There's some another one there, another player there hiding bomb below. I get shot from the right. Okay. Got three people targeting me. So I'll build and uh try and locate the other guy. The other guy's still fighting him, so it's grenade launcher. Uh, the guy on the bottom is fighting that guy. Okay, that gives me time to now shield up. So I'll shield up and observe for now. Okay, this guy looks like I'm gonna kill him, yeah. Grenade launcher. The grenade launcher, just like the grenades, is very random. You can fire one grenade and end up killing them, or fire 20 and miss. Like, they just bounce. It's where they bounce is just it's not in your not in your control. They'll hit a side of a mountain, a side of a wall, a side of a rock. You just can't predict where they're going to go. I think he's run away. Or is it either behind the, uh, the uh, brick? Or the metal. I didn't see him go up. Okay, so someone builds a side. I think that's the other guy pushing him. Could be wrong. Oh yeah, someone's still in there. So this is the best thing to do right now, I just keep spamming. And just hope that one hits. I mean I think he's going high, yeah. Try and get the arc, try and land one. I'm not having the best luck right now. So he's got a rocket launcher. Okay, so the building has gone. Is there still some sniping? It's still to the right, that guy. So I'll keep walling off to the right because I know that guy's still down there. So I'll focus on this guy. He seems more of a threat. Build a wall. He's got a rocket launcher, so he's easy to defend against. Just keep building walls. These buildings keep getting destroyed, so that's good. So it means you have to keep focus on rebuilding to protect himself. Once again, it got destroyed. Actually, I've got another jump pad if I need to. The storm is coming in. So uh, I'll quickly go. See what he's doing. Okay, so he's building quick. Build on the top. That's another thing that happens that shouldn't really happen. <laughs> They're able to build walls past their own. It's another weird bug in Fortnite, I'm afraid. My floor built as a roof again. Make one edit. There we go. So he's just down here to my left. But I've got to be wary of this other guy as well, so the other guy will be watching us. He's just below me, I think. I think he's just in here. I can hear him uh, reloading. He's shooting down my... I'm not sure if he's breaking the whole base or if he's shooting just the floor. So I've got another jump pad if the whole base breaks. Okay, so he's below me. So, just keep building up. Trying to make me fall. Oh, it's a guy now. Yeah, it's a guy trying to shoot me. So he's over there with a new burst rifle. But for now, I'll just focus on this guy. He tried to shoot me down again. Sometimes they have traps. You can shoot me down and they put me straight into a trap so he's over there, he's need a snipe. Oh, he's getting shot. Oh. So it's just me and the guy now below. Looks like he's building out. Storm is coming in. So I'll go again. No jump pad. Don't think he knows I'm here. Ah, oh, I'm gonna. Would have been over right then. So I'll shoot him out, shoot his floor out. Build a floor. No, it's gone on the roof again. Ugh. So like I said, sometimes you go through it, sometimes you don't. He's building well, he's protecting himself. Going for, to go around with floors again. Go up. Oh, rocket launcher. Okay, to build roof, build a roof. Now I'm more concerned about getting my health. Because I'll be dead. Okay, I'm still too high up. These are all his objects, so I can't put a campfire down. So I'll just make my own. 
build a floor, put a campfire. The only thing I have to worry about right now, is right above me, is him editing through on my shotgun ready, just in case he does. Because all these wall, all these floors and walls, you can edit through them and peek me with a shotgun. I don't think there's a floor on the other side here, so he can't peek through this, but he can peek through the roof over there. Okay, I'm at 100 now, so I've got to check him out, see what he's doing. He's trying to destroy the base? Yeah. So get AR on, spam him. He's reloading, great. And that was it. Good game. I beef a twist. So that's the uh, solo showdown commentary. Let me know if you're participating. Just so I don't forget, like I said, the gameplay analysis series is starting soon. So if you want your gameplay featured, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again.